Today we're going to look at how to find the surface area of prisms and we're going to start with a triangular prism. And a triangular prism is a prism whose base is a triangle and that's how they're classified. Okay, so there are kind of two parts to finding the surface area. We have to find the lateral area. We, call that, we abbreviate that as LA for lateral area and that's the sides of, that go around it. And then we have to add base areas. Since this is a prism, it's going to have two bases a top base and a bottom base. So we have to account for two of those over here in our equation. And then once we get those areas, we're going to add them up. So let's start with our lateral area. We need to take the perimeter of our base and we need to multiply it by the height. So our perimeter, well, we've got two out of three of the sides. So I'm going to draw the base down here so we can take a look at it. Okay, it's six on this side, eight on this side, and then it's got a right angle in the corner here. So that means it's a right triangle. Now, I can use the Pythagorean Theorem to find the other missing side. And since it's the hypotenuse, it's opposite the right angle, it's the C portion of the Pythagorean Theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So let's plug in our two legs, 8 and 6, for A and B, and solve for C. So that's 36 plus 64 is equal to c squared and that adds to 100. So c must be equal to 10. So that makes this side 10, which I can go back up to my triangle now and label this side 10. Now I can figure out my perimeter. So the perimeter of my base is 6 plus 8 plus 10, which is what, 24? 24. Now I'm going to take that and let's go back up and look at our formula again. It's the perimeter of the base times the height of the base. So the perimeter times the base, I've got 24 is my perimeter times my height. The height of my prism is 12. So 24 times 12, I'll just grab my calculator. 24 times 12, and that gives me 288 square units. Inches squared or units squared. And now I need to find my base areas. Well, my base is the triangle, so let's draw the base again. Okay, I've got 6 on one side, 8 on one side, and 10 on the hypotenuse. My formula for the area of a triangle is 1 half base times a height. Well, my base and my height in a right triangle are just the two legs, so I'm not going to use the hypotenuse in this formula. So 1 half, the base is 8, and the height is 6. So 8 times 6 is 48, and half of 48 is 24. Okay, so 24 is the area of one base. But remember, in a prism, I have two bases. Let's look at the picture again. And up here, we have a base, and then down here, we have a base. So each base is 24, so I have to count for 2. So that's why I'm going to multiply it by 24, 24 by 2. So that makes 48 as the area of my basis. Now, I'm going to take these two separate formulas, the, um, the area of the lateral area plus the area of the two bases and add those up. So I've got 288 plus 48, and that adds to the total surface area. So let's grab my calculator, and I just need to add to it. That's not adding on here. 48, I subtracted, let's add it together, 8 and 8 is 16, 12, 13, so that's 336 square units. And that's how you find the surface area of the prism.